Welcome back. Today I have got 10 more jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13 to 13.5.1 and for these awesome jailbreak tweaks and they are very useful and I hope you like all of them. Now we're gonna go to the first one here. It is a tweak that gonna give you a time while you are screen recording your phone. So usually with stock iOS version, when you screen recording your phone, you cannot see um, the time. But now after you install the tweak, and now when you are recording your screen, you're gonna see the timer on the top of your status bar. And you can see here, we have the timer on the top here. So you can actually see how long that you have been recording your screen. Move on to the next one. It is a free tweak that allows you to launch the application from your iPhone lock screen. So it is much more convenient and it is a quick way to launch the application on your phone. Now you need to go to settings and then go to fast app lock screen and you have two choices you can choose between um, the half round or you can just go to fully round but for me I like the half round and now you can select the application from here you can select your favorite app from here and I have selected the application that I like so this like Facebook, like Google Apps and I have done it and you can even hide the camera button and the flashlight but for me I don't like to hide it so I'm gonna keep it visible and you can also um, hidden your IP address if you want so if you doesn't eyeball it you're gonna see the IP address like your Wi-Fi so now I'm gonna go back to my lock screen now you can see at the bottom we have the IP address and you force touch on it you're gonna see the application that you have selected it is launched like that and then you can just click on one of them to go I can go to Google map but first I need to confirm with my face ID or my touch ID you don't need to worry about it it is very secure now as soon as my face is confirmed it launched the app straight away it is pretty awesome we have custom Siri background for iOS 13 so for Siri you're gonna get dark blur it is default by Apple but if you want to customize Siri you can use the tweaks so it is pretty useful now I'm gonna enable it on image and it's gonna pop up into your gallery so you can select your photo and I'm gonna select this one and now we can click on apply click on yes then your phone will be respring now my phone has been respring so let's invoke Siri and now you can see on Siri we have a new background here it looks pretty awesome now in your photo app you can completely delete the photo or the video so you don't need to go to recent delete to delete it one more time so you can completely delete it from here click on delete button then you can see the Chinese button at the bottom here so now you can just click on it then your video or your photo will be completely deleted. With this simple tweak, you can go to Wiggle mode much easier and faster just by clicking on the page dot at the bottom. And then you can see here, now we are standing on the Wiggle mode and you can easily delete the application. With clean folders, it's gonna give you a new look on folder. So it is going to remove the background from the folder and now you can see on my folder here. So it is transparent and you can see um, there is no border around it now on message by default from Apple and you can see it is kind of expanded while you are scrolling but now after you install the tweak it it doesn't expand anymore so while you are scroll on here so you can see it keep the small version and for me personally while it is expanded it is kind of interrupted for me so I don't like that now move on to volume lock so what it does it gonna lock your volume so you can click both volume up and volume down to lock your volume gesture so I'm gonna cl click on both of them at the same time and now my volume is locked and now when I try to adjust it doesn't work and if you want to unlock it just click both of them again and now it will be unlocked and I can adjust the volume as usual so this is very good when you are watching a movie and sometimes you accidentally hit on those buttons and now you don't have that problem anymore 
with Bluetooth device renamer, now you can rename the device that you have connected to, especially on Bluetooth. So you can just hit on the I button here, and you're gonna see the new button on the top where you can rename your Bluetooth device. And then I can just set the custom name and hit on submit. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks, and then I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you want to get this, themes you can check in my video description i always include the themes that i am using in the video in my video description you can check it out 